Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a food truck business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a food truck business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. The average cost to start a food truck is between $50,000 and $150,000. A food truck owner may pay as little as $10,000 or as much as $250,000 for their business, depending on legal fees, customization, state, and niche. There are several factors that can influence your overall cost. Before committing to launching a food truck, you should ensure that your concept will stand out in the market. Begin by looking into the following in your city. 1. Existing food truck businesses and concepts. 2. Existing restaurant concepts. 3. The population's average demographic. 4. A location where food trucks can stop and sell their wares. 5. Busy street times when commuters can turn into customers check to see if there is a market for the food truck concept you want to present in your city. The following step is to select a food truck concept. You'll want to cater to the interests of your city's population with your food truck but you'll also want to share your own interests and passions through your business. After conducting preliminary research, select a food truck concept that combines your distinct style with community concerns. From there, you can choose a name and logo that accurately reflect the heart of your company. Your concept, name, and logo should all have the following characteristics. 1. Be distinct and memorable. Point 2. Be descriptive and eye-catching. 3. Express your intentions clearly but without being overly specific in order to allow for growth. A well thought out concept and a visually appealing logo can have a significant impact on customers' decisions to shop from your truck. Once you've decided on a concept, it's time to start working on your food truck business plan. Writing a food truck business plan is a great way to iron out the details of your venture before you start investing in it. This is also the document you will present to potential investors, so it is critical that you carefully lay out your vision and financial plan. A food truck business plan should include the following sections, 1. An executive summary, in this section, you should establish your company's identity, lay out your goals, and show what type of food you want to sell and why. 2. A company description, in this section, explain why you want to start a food truck and how your business differs from the competition. 3. A market analysis, explain which demographic your truck would cater to and who your target audience would be in this section. Four. An organization and management plan. In this section, lay out the employee ranks and internal structure to demonstrate a clear business organizational system. 5. A service or product line description. Include information about your menu as well as options for seasonal or future menu changes. 6. Marketing and sales strategies. Describe your advertising strategy and the various marketing tactics you intend to employ to spread the word about your food truck. 7. A funding request. Clearly identify where your truck's funding will come from and how much you will need to get your business up and running. 8. Financial projections. In this section, you'll show your investors your company's projected growth and financial plan for the next five years. 8. An appendix. In this section, you can include any additional information that was not included in the plan, such as photos, logo design, and blueprints. Your business plan is the first step in obtaining funding for your truck. Given the costs of starting a food truck, it is likely that you will require a loan to get your business off the ground. This funding and startup savings can come from a variety of sources, including, sponsors from the community, personal investors such as friends and family, crowdfunding sites such as Kickstarter, microloans from the Small Business Administration, rollover of business startup from a retirement account, setting up a business credit card, and equipment loans and financing programs. After you've determined where your funding will come from, you'll need to investigate what licenses are required to start a food truck. Food truck permits and licenses differ from state to state and even city to city, so it is critical to check with your local jurisdiction, such as the Chamber of Commerce, Health Department, and Department of Motor Vehicles, to determine their requirements. Many of the same licenses and permits that are required for restaurant businesses will be required to open a food truck, a business license, an employer identification number, Employee health permit and a food service license are all required to open a food truck. You will also most likely need a mobile food facility permit, as well as a zoning and parking permit. When working with your DMV to get your parking permits and registration, make sure to ask about parking restrictions and limits in your city, as well as where you can park overnight. 
If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a food truck business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.